Before I start this video, I want to thank you all for 1,000 subscribers. It hasn't even been a year yet since I started, plus I took a mini break so I cannot express how grateful I am for you all. And if you are new here, welcome and I hope everyone enjoys this video. So today I am doing my most requested pamper routine. First we must start off by setting the vibes. I have my coconut candle lit and today I'm listening to J. Cole's new album. I'm also going to put my robe in my towel warmer so it's cozy and warm once I get out of the shower. Before I touch my skin, I always make sure to wash and sanitize my hands to remove all bacteria. I'm using my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works which is the warm vanilla sugar. For all my vanilla girlies, this product is essential. I'm adding a shower steamer to give it a fresh scent. A brand gifted me this product for free and I've been so delighted to use these. I'm gonna go with the eucalyptus scent, which is a stress reliever that relaxes the mind and body. Starting my wash routine with the Sensitive Dove Soap Bar is my go-to. It's important for me to begin with a clean slate before applying my main scents. This helps my skin feel fresh and free of any residue and also helps my following scents linger for hours. By using a gentle soap, I can prep my skin without worrying about any irritation as I do have sensitive skin. It's a simple way to set the stage for my favorite fragrances. I'm starting with salt hair soap today and honestly I used to walk past this all the time in the store but one day I decided to try it and now it's in one of my top five favorites. The smell is amazing and it feels really refreshing on my skin, plus the bottle looks so fancy and you only need a little because the scent is very strong. Before I shave my legs, I always prep with a sugar scrub to make them super soft. My favorite is the vanilla one by Tree Hut. It's a must have for me. Tree Hut never disappoints. All their products are fantastic. I apply the scrub in circular motions and let it sit for a few seconds to really lock in before rinsing it off. I use the vanilla bliss shaving cream from EOS to shave my legs and my armpits. After shaving, I use an exfoliator to get rid of dead skin and soothe any razor bumps that might have occurred. I use my exfoliator glove with the Smoother Glycolic Acid Body Wash by Naderium. I rub it on gently and feel really smooth and rejuvenated afterwards. I always make sure to get my feet to make them super soft and feel replenished. For down there, I use a soap called Refresh from Her Fantasy Box. It's a mild gel which also helps maintain a healthy pH balance. My robe feels very toasty which also helps me dry off quicker. After I shave, I go in with this Renew Her Oil also from Her Fantasy Box. I use this under my armpits especially after I shave to help lighten the dark areas and prevent razor bumps. After I do that, I apply my Sensitive Dove deodorant, which is unscented and prevents sweat stains. I'm using Tree Hut's Vanilla Body Cream to lock in the vanilla scent from my sugar scrub. These products paired together creates a vanilla trail. The cream is thick and adds to the softness and a little goes a long way. Next, I apply Cocoa Vaseline Oil to achieve that glowing skin look. 
It adds shine and radiance and it pairs perfectly with the vanilla scent. Now it's time for my dental hygiene. I recently started using a water flosser which is perfect for removing food that might be trapped in hard to reach areas of my mouth. And it also makes brushing a lot easier and more effective. I'm using my teeth brightening kit which is very essential to me. It feels more luxurious than using whitening strips. I apply the whitening solution to the front and back of the mouth guard, then turn on the UV light and let it sit for 5 minutes. First things first, I cleanse my face with Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel. This one has become a go-to for me. It leaves my skin feeling super clean and I've noticed it's quick in removing acne and blemishes. I'm using a new cleansing brush that I got and it's so cute and handheld. The brush itself is really soft which means it's gentle on my skin and causes less irritation. It also has another side which is like a mini exfoliator but it's still really gentle on my skin. I wet it a little bit and it helps remove the soap from my face easier. I always pat my skin dry with a soft pad. I never rub my face because it could cause irritation. I want to make sure my skin is completely dry before moving on to the next step. Now it's time to shave my face. This simple routine really helps my skin look brighter and cleaner. I aim to do this at least once a month as a part of my skincare routine and it always gives great results. I'm using Vaseline to coat my face before shaving. This step is super important. You want to make sure your face is looking sweaty like you just did a 2 hour cardio because any dry spots will lead to razor burns and inflammation. I start with my upper lip and it's kind of a free for all from there. I make sure to pull my skin tight to shave flat which helps get a closer shave. You want to take your time and not rush as it's super risky. Cutting your skin is definitely something to avoid at all cost. Patience is key for a safe and smooth shave. As some of you may know, my brows are one of my favorite facial features, so I want to line those up perfectly. I start by brushing them upwards, then I gently drag the razor down from my forehead to shape them how I want. After I finish shaving, I wipe off the excess hair using a cotton pad. Then I go in with my lovely heart sponge. I wet it with cold water and gently wipe it all over my face. This helps to cool down my skin and soothe any irritation from shaving making my skin feel refreshed, leaving no oil behind. Next, I'm using my eye mask to treat my skin after all that harsh work and brighten the areas under my eyes. Honestly, I don't really need eye masks. I just love the aesthetic and the self-care vibes they give me. To top off the eye mask, I'm going to cover it with my rose water facial mask. 
Not only does this step add an extra layer of soothing hydration to my skin, but it also gives it a glowing look. I love the refreshing sensation of the rose water and the way it leaves my skin feeling pampered. I use a facial roller to help spread out and smooth the mask, making sure it covers all areas of my skin evenly. This also helps to absorb into my skin better and maximize the benefits of the mask. Now once I take it off, as you guys can see, my skin is absolutely glowing and feeling soft as ever. This part is so rewarding in my skincare routine. To finish off, I apply my Hyaluronic Serum and I'm using the one from Good Molecules. I've been a fan of this brand for a while now because they're very credible and always deliver excellent results. Their serum adds a boost of hydration to my skin, leaving it feeling plump and moisturized. Once I apply my serum, I use my gasha to massage my face. It feels nice and it helps sharpen my jawline and fine tune my skin texture. And I also turn on my steamer to give it more of a spa vibe, which makes it 10 times more relaxing. I'm going to apply a moisturizing cream from The Ordinary for a hydration boost. Just a small amount leaves my skin looking like glass throughout the day. Then I'm going to massage it into my skin in a circular motion. Lastly, I'm going to put on these pimple patches to cover my blemishes in this one pimple I have. I love how these are barely noticeable, yet they still get the job done by fading away my pimples and blemishes. These are truly a lifesaver. I'm going to exfoliate my lips before I apply my lip gloss to make them look fuller and plumper. I'm using this one from MAC which is very lightweight and doesn't feel too sticky. Now I'm just touching up my brows after they're nice and shaved. I'm going to brush them upwards again and line them up with my brow brush. Moving on to my hair care, I'm using Bare Canvas Oil by Sherry Ann. Let me tell you, this is one of the best oils I've ever used for my scalp. If you have really dry or irritated scalp, this is your solution. Not only does it smell amazing, but it also promotes fast hair growth. My braids never last because my hair grows so fast when I use this. I'm touching up my braids using the Shanique and Shine Foaming Mousse, also from Bare Canvas by Sherry Ann. Thanks to the rapid growth from her oils, I use this to ease the frizz and make my braids look fresh. It adds a nice sheen and helps maintain a new look throughout the day. I'll be linking all these products in my description below if you guys are interested in purchasing and elevating your hair routine. I just put on these cute pajamas and I highly encourage you guys to invest in some too. It really makes you feel like that girl and I feel so peaceful and clean when I go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge thanks again for 1k subscribers and I hope you join me on my next video.